Welcome to EdTech Hustle. My name is Rich and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert a PDF survey into Microsoft Forms in seconds. Let's see how this works. The first thing you need to do is to go to Microsoft Forms at forms.microsoft.com where you can sign up for a free Microsoft account. After you've signed up for your account, go ahead and hit the button that says sign in. So once you sign in, you'll be taking your dashboard that kind of looks like this. Now, in this case, I have about a 10 question survey that I've previously given to teachers on paper and they've gone through and they've completed this and it's been a real pain because I had to kind of go through and, and, and tally everything together. So what I want to use now is a Microsoft form to make this a quick and easier process for everyone. So in the past, what I'd previously have to do is create a new form and then I would have to add a new question. I'll pick choice and I would have to go through and copy and paste each individual question kind of like that, as well as each individual answer from the form. But I'm going to show you a brand new way that's going to make this so much easier. So rather than starting a new form by clicking this button to the left, I'm going to choose this option called quick import. That's going to allow me to import a PDF document or a word document and automatically convert that to a Microsoft form. So all I'll have to do is select the word or PDF file from my local device. In this case, it's a word file. Next, I'll have to choose what I want to import it as either a form or a quiz. The main difference is there's one right answer with a quiz. There isn't with a form or a survey. So this is the option that I want to choose. And you'll see it says about a minute or so left to convert. It's not going to take that long. This form should be ready for me in seconds. There we go. Your form has been successfully converted. Let me go ahead and review the questions. So I'm just going to kind of maybe move this over to the side so you can see it a little bit better. But you can see to the right hand side, this is my original paper Word document with my survey. And this is my Microsoft form. You can see forms did a great job importing each one of these individual questions. Now, the one thing it did do is edit an 11th question, which was just really directions from Copilot. I don't want this, so I'm just going to select delete. And I have that nice 10 question survey. Of course, I can go in and change the title or change any directions or even any individual questions from the paper survey if I wanted to. Now, the nice thing about this is once this is finished, I can select this button that says collect responses. It's going to generate this link that I can copy and I can share. And once participants complete that form, I'll be able to see those results in real time through this responses tab, just like this. So this is going to save me so much time when I'm going through and trying to calculate all of the responses. It's going to give me instant results. If I wanted to, I could even show my participants their instant feedback. This is going to make that whole process of taking that survey so much easier. And you can do it all through Microsoft Forms through that feature called Quick Import. So I hope that this video has been and helpful for you. If you have a question, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. So thank you for watching this video and have a great night.